Good morning, good morning, everyone. Hope you're doing well. This is Chicho, and welcome to another live stream. Today is day two of going through video game collection, uh, console and computer games. And uh, we did a couple hour stream uh, yesterday uh, video that uh, we went through a handful of stuff. We went from here. And we took some stuff over there. So we looked at those stuff there. And uh, today we're going to see how much of these things we can get through. There's, uh, there's about that much more left. I've uh, put aside, uh, initially when we started, three days for this. We might actually get through all that stuff, maybe. Depending if we're going to take a look at some stuff uh, more intimately than just uh, seeing what we got. Okay. And today, what is the day today? Today is September 24th, 2020. And welcome to another live stream, gang. I hope you're all having a fantastic day, fantastic morning, fantastic afternoon, evening, whatever your time uh, zone is. And while we wait for people to roll in, for notifications to go out, I know sometimes it takes a little bit of time for uh, Twitch and Discord to send out the notifications. Let me tell you who I am and where you can find my work. Rakil, Rak Rakial, how are you doing? Chicho, my friend, great to see you. Good to see you as well. I hope you have a fantastic, what are we? Thursday, right? Today's Thursday, it must be Thursday. It is Thursday. Spider-Man, how you doing? X, how's life? Oh yes, I'm so excited. Nice Spider-Man. By the way, Spider-Man and X and other people that are rolling in, the odds are, when we finish this stream in two hours, in another hour and a half or so, uh, probably around 1 p.m. or so, I'm going to do a comic book haul. It's, I got a little window that we can, I can show you uh, a couple of comic book hauls I grabbed. Okay. Luma, how are you doing? Long time no see. Fast car, indeed. The video game stream. The second video game stream. Fast car, you missed the first one yesterday. <laughs> we went through this much stuff. We went through this much stuff. I'll have the video up on uh, YouTube and BitChute uh, probably in a couple of days. Okay. Future future Furu, how are you doing? Hello. <laughs> so, man, you're spoiling today. <laughs> Me too. I'm spoiling myself too. I'm loving this. Very cool. I'll definitely catch up. Yeah, you're going to love some of the things we looked at uh, yesterday that we got on that pile. And we've got some stuff uh, going on here. More memories. Elder God, indeed. Nicholas, what up, what up? Hope you're doing well. That N64 box is worth money. <laughs> Cha-ching, Jesus. Awesome, awesome. Oh, by the way, gang, if you want to follow my work, I'm on Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash Chicho, C-H-Y-C-H-O. If you want to support this work, Patreon is a fantastic way to do so. I don't put anything behind paywalls. Everything's Creative Commons. Share and share alike. You can follow the work, and after a while, if you think this work is worth supporting, uh, Patreon is a fantastic way uh, to show your support. I know you don't want to sell, but it's good to know. <laughs> good to know your stuff is worth it. Uh, you know what? I, I, yeah, I, I've been meaning to go through this for the longest time, and this is like round one, and then I got to go through sorting them, right? So together, we're going through to take a look at what we got. That way, I got a visual and a record <laughs> i guess this is a record of what i got right so next time that i want to go through stuff i know what's there and maybe i can sort it in a sheet somewhere and then go through it again and compile things right and i know there's a couple of more boxes two or three boxes sitting around somewhere that have other stuff that uh, maybe if i get the chance i'll pull them out for Saturday's stream, maybe. Okay. Uh, Lonely Piggy, how are you doing, Chicho? Happy to see you live this afternoon. Hope all is well. As doing well, man. Thank you very much. Cheryl, how are you doing? I hope everything's going well in Montreal, brother. <laughs> Cheryl, Cheryl. The frost gone, eh? I hope so. I hope so. Raquel, Chicho, do you have any comment or opinion on the fact that you might be the chillest dude of all time? Uh, any comments? Uh, 420 life is a good life. 
And uh, once we start doing Chicho Salvia Divinorum Chronicles, tune in. Uh, just life, man. Experience. Uh, and decisions along the way uh, to go in a certain direction, right? And luck. Lots of luck. And good support. <laughs> Lots of good support. <laughs> Diet like, man, after a 15-hour shift, this is something I can chill to. Awesome. Awesome. I hope you enjoy, brother. Or sister, of course. You're a thug. I guess anybody can be a thug. Slick Mick 99. Thank God I'm finally back for a stream thing. Have been so crazy with college. Yeah, I must be. I have students that uh, some are dropping courses. and It's like education <laughs> is insane right now. By the way, I will give you five dollars for the whole set. That's like a thousand Canadian, right? <laughs> Diet like says five dollars in USD. Hmm. Maybe we talk about it. We'll see where it's going, right? Uh, I feel you. It feels even busier with the online hassle. Yeah, fast car. Cheryl Chicho, yes, thankfully. Normal September temperature for now. Nice, nice, nice. We had like crazy rainstorm last couple of days. It was really cool, actually. Mr. Top Ramen, I love video games. Oh my God, you're going to love what we got. <laughs> Insightful, thank you. Lots of factors that play behind the scenes to make the chillest, chillness possible. Indeed, indeed, man. Choices have a lot to do with it, by the way. Choices, you know, life throws you poop and it's the choices you make under 18s come with uh safety to that conversation under 18s come say oh okay okay indeed indeed elder god okay thank you for the heads up jay hoppus wonderful timing happy to be here chicho awesome awesome thank you for that for letting me know elder god uh our conversations here sort of tend on the more experienced uh, mature side and i tend to forget that uh, for the math streams uh, that is definitely uh, geared in a certain direction for everything else uh, i sort of forget fastcar any chance you'd ever stream a video game on twitch for sure for sure i will uh, fastcar an asmr gaming stream would be cool at some point i will be that's one of the reasons we're going through this for me to sort it out in my head see what's what i need to make it to one of those 10 by 10 puzzles oh man yeah we gotta do we'll see we'll see what i can get in uh, in the next uh, couple of sets thorn hey chicho and chat excited to be listening to this while working away on spreadsheets for work nice nice slick mick pong the best game of all time and you cannot change my dude slick mick pong amazing game amazing game by the way gang we're live streaming on twitch twitch.tv forward slash chicho chicho live chicho live c-h-o-i-c-h-o-l-i-v-e pop up if you want to participate in the chat twitch is where you want to be at i'd like that rhyme and for those of you who are supporting through twitch through patreon subscribing uh following uh, and through patreon supporting through patreon thank you very much for the support uh it is because of your support that we're able to do this Tachiha, Tachiha, how are you doing adan i never can pronounce that hiha hi ha what we snacking on today i got uh i got almonds going on no liqueur today it's too early in the morning for liqueur but i do have uh tea ASMR gaming is a huge thing people like, yeah. And the, 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 there's games that I do want to live stream. They're old school games. There's a, two of them. One of them is a Sega game. Another one is a N64 game. But we can talk about it once I get there. Megan, how are you doing? Hey, Chicho. I've been playing Ghost Recon today. Nice, nice, nice. Gang, I do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on LO Minds, VK Parlor, Gab, and twitter okay you can follow the work there the links will be in the description of the video we do upload the audio for live stream discussions we have regarding politics economics or whatever it might be where there's no visuals involved on soundcloud.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o and those podcast audios should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify and we will be uploading this 
live stream this video to YouTube and BitChute. And you can support this work through YouTube and BitChute by subscribing, following, sharing, commenting. And if you are on YouTube, uh, you can support this work by becoming a member. Somewhere down there, there should be a button. Okay. Aside from that, gang, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Day two of Show and Tell, my gaming collection. Uh, Fascar, I'm just ignoring my ethics class on Zoom right now. It's insane that I need this class to graduate. Yeah, some of the electives that you have to take to graduate are insane, right? Are we doing any drop in math anytime soon? We're going to do drop in math in the next set for sure. Um, we just did one two streams ago, like three, day, three days ago, two days ago. Two days ago, I think we did a math drop in stream. And it was really good. I just uploaded the video to YouTube and bit you today. So we did it two days ago. And I, uh, two days, three days ago. Uh, and I just uploaded it uh, yesterday, sorry. Yesterday, I uploaded it uh, to YouTube and BitChute. And we covered uh, simplifying versus solving, uh, talked about physics, we did systems of linear equations, and we talked a little bit about trigonometry, and we did a few other things as well. Okay, we're going to be doing anywhere between two to four of those a month. Okay. Uh, definitely one of the best uh, slick mech even if uh, only because of the sheer number of hours spent playing yeah uh this and this is pong and one of the best because you're one-on-one -on -one competition it's literally the the one of the best games if you want to compete right looks like lockdown is coming back to london so i'm gonna be at home quite a lot yeah lockdown might be coming out be coming back a lot of places mc chicho <laughs> <laughs> we did a we did a six and a half hour uh, uh, music stream. I'm gonna take these guys down by the way, okay? Music stream with uh, five DJs, so four DJs. That was fantastic. Oh, I missed that. Yeah, we did it two days ago. The math stream, brother or sister, of course. Uh, Luma Chicho. When is the next politics stream? In the next set, we'll have one. Um, I think we just have to do one every set now. I'm mainly playing Volorant and Apex nowadays gang should we look yesterday you guys were deciding what to look at right but we closed off yesterday by looking at whoop, uh, elder scrolls that was popping out from this clear box right here so why don't we start with that and then you guys can choose what else we want to look at and up top here above here okay i gotta do it with this end above here <laughs> I just pulled something out and I want to show you guys those, but I want to wait until Catholic Traditionalist is here because he uh, posted some stuff on our Discord page that are about old school technology, specifically computers. And uh, if you're old school like me, you know, some of the other people here, okay, and you were into computers, uh, programming technology, this these guys here you will find to be extremely cool but we'll wait until catholic traditionalist pops in and if he doesn't pop in by the end of the stream uh and if we haven't gone through all this we'll save it for saturday uh if not i'll show it to you at the end okay it's 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 pretty cool it's uh it's unique okay programming love it yeah elder god you're gonna get a kick out of this too you're gonna get a kick out of this too it's uh, it's a unique thing okay let's look at this this box right here and then we decide what to look at okay let me take this off Chicho, another live stream. You're a roll. <laughs> You're on a roll. Yeah, Miro. And the odds are we're going to do another one today as well. Okay. Once we finish uh, this two hour we've set aside for this gaming stream to go through as much of this as we can, uh, that's left over. I'm going to take about an hour, hour and a half break, and I'm going to show you a couple of comic book hauls I got. Okay. So, unboxing comic book haul probably around 1 o'clock, 1 30, hopefully, if my window stays open. Okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, I didn't know I had this one here. Uh, 
ko. Da, hat es nicht. Oh. Okay. Should we look at this? <laughs> Think like, wow, is it a holiday? I, it's, uh, for me, I had the, a window open up to do, right? And I've been sitting on one comic book haul for about four days, five days that I picked up ago, and one that I picked up a couple of days ago. And I need to go through them to leave feedback for one of the people I left feedback, feedback for because I just picked it up so I could see what it was. The other one's on unboxing. Okay. Should we look at this? Let's look at this game. <laughs> so yesterday, uh, check this out. This is the instruction manual for electronic scale Buckman. I'm not sure what this is for. Perfect HO is this going for? HO, uh, Bachman Quality Sense Instruction Manual for what? What's a Bachman? Bachman Division. Mm, check this out. Oh, 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 this is for. Uh, I used to have. I used to have, uh, and I might somewhere in a box, uh, train sets, electronic train sets. I loved electronic train sets, and we had a, I had a couple set up when I was really young. Check that out. This electronic train set manual. Cool. Oh yeah, look at this. Oh snap. Oh. <laughs> Check this out. Check this out. It's just super cool, man. Super cool. One day, one day I plan on getting electronic train sets set up again. Okay. I had like mountains set up and trees and stuff like this. Train set. I had one as well. Oh, man. Train sets were. And race car sets. Right? Cool. Okay. We'll leave this one here for now we saw dark castle yesterday right for macintosh how about beyond dark castle part two <laughs> beyond dark castle i don't think there's anything in here i'm gonna look inside not here the discs are oh there's instruction manual is there no it's not an instruction manual. oh wow the, oh yeah there is something here what is this this is just a warranty it must be uh yeah this is a warranty i was in Vermont once at a toy store in the middle of the store was an expensive electronic train set with a huge uh, seniors, yeah, electronic trains are, man, play beyond that, Dark Castle and Macintosh too, cool, saving it, this is, check this out, this is the instruction manual for beyond Dark Castle, good morning Gina, how are you doing, or beyond Dark Castle, right, that's it, nice, nice, and the discs, I got discs all over the place, so uh, I, I, there are some discs here, but I have boxes with discs, so some of these games are most likely, I was thinking about it last night, most likely in those boxes of, uh, and Gina, this is the box, Beyond Dark Castle, uh, so these games are probably in those, uh, with those discs, right, <laughs> check this out, this is a great game. Rush, San Francisco Rush, N64, right, it should be in there, nice, nice, check this out, is the cartridge here, oh the cartridge is not here, but we've got the instruction manual, I must have the cartridge somewhere else, instruction manual this is a great game by the way great driving game 
unfortunately the modern generation downloads all their games uh, to the hard drive no more discs yeah so unfortunate I mean it's environmentally more practical but too bad the cost is not less the cost should be way less right. nice there's a poster here's like the stuff they sent with it where you can you know order more things and you know it's more advertising and stuff right here's their nintendo thing it's a little mail-in thing and let's check out the poster on this all the eggs in one basket should we look at the poster Alcatraz edition, The Rock. The poster is like mint shape. Huh? In arcades now, it's a brand new rush. Cool. So the disc is in one of these, maybe in this. Check this out. One of the greatest science fiction adventures ever. The books I've recommended reading the Death Gate cycle multiple, multiple times, right? There's a computer uh, console game for it, right? If you've never read the Death Gate cycle, read the Death Gate cycle, a seven book sci fi series by Tracy Hickman and Margaret Wise. And it's absolutely fantastic, right? And this is the cover of book uh, five or something, I forget. Right? Let's crack it open. Let's make sure it's all in here. Oh, well, maybe not. What is this? Interplay. Oh, what's this? This is something else. Is it? No, this has got to be Death Gate Cycle. Oh, this is the Lord of the Rings Advanced CD. We saw this. Check this out. <laughs> Check that out. <laughs> Mouse is bad. <laughs> what the hell? There's a Death Gate Cycle. <laughs> but anyway, let's check this out. Well, we got the box for the Death Gate Cycle. All right. Rafa Live, how are you doing? This is inter. How come this is not closing properly? Weird. Maybe that's not for this. No, it's the same box. So the box is Interplay. Right. Interplay production. Interplay production. I don't know Interplay. Inside though, we got. What we got? Here's that thing with more ruins. This is uh, Knights of the. Check this out. What's cracking, brother? Origin. We have the one of the other things we saw yesterday was related to this. It was like the ruins written, right? So this must be the same thing. Oh, this is the one with the cards. Remember the cards? If you saw yesterday's, there was like cards uh, that we had. Yeah, yeah, it's the same one. I think it's related to that, right? So that's the instruction manual for that, whatever that is. Lord of the Rings thing. Thank you. Alone in the dark. 
Check this out. This is interplay. Alone in the dark battle chest. MS DOS. If it works with MS DOS, check that out. Check it out. Castle, Castle 2. Interplay. What is this? This is for. Not sure what game this is. Irradiate Door. Nothing in the back. Ultima Underworld. The Great Stygian Map. Check this out. The Stygian Abyss. Cool. Ultima. These randoms are crazy. The Book of Knowledge. Codex, Codex Scientitia. Another origin. Ultima Underworld, cool. We got one of the manuals together with the map, so that's cool. Origin. So this one's gonna take some putting together. This is just notes. <laughs> awesome. The adventure. This is a manual, this is Lucas Films. Just a little promo thing. Yeah, this one can leave outside. Rebel Assault, cool. We had the box for Rebel Assault yesterday, so. Reference card, so I'll leave that out. Interplay again. Stonekeeper. This is just a little promo thing for Interplay. Cool little pamphlet. Is Interplay still around? California. All right, check it out. Are these guys still around? So that's Interplay. So all of these are just little pamphlets. Uh, little brochures or manuals or stuff games that were so this is Ultima Underworld reference card for Ultima Underworld for a CD I'm confused why so many things in, a, in one box did it come that way or you just stored them it they just got stored like this like basically you know you would get all these things with uh, the, the you know with your games and then they all pile up and you were playing games you just grab the disc you put the box over there and maybe you're sampling a couple of different games and you take all the leftover papers and you put them in one box and close it you'll think you'll get to it but you never get to it oh wing commander dude wing commander if i can find this it'd be, this this could be awesome wing can wing commander was fantastic this game right there right really fantastic game oh i thought maybe it was some compilation yeah no the whole this whole thing is a compilation 
Congratulations. Ah, here's Wing Commander. Check this out. Oh, got the manual for Wing Commander. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna leave all of these out. I'm not gonna put them back in the box. That way we'll put them on the table behind me uh, so I can sort them all later. Okay. And here's the manual. Awesome. Wing Commander. <laughs> nice. Played this game a lot. Really fun game, really. The different types of uh, ships you could uh, choose to do bombing raids with or do attacks with were fantastic. You need to have a screw, screw in there. Okay, I'm gonna leave these guys out. Cool. Okay, let's put this box. Put these guys out because that way I'll get a chance to sort them. Okay. So let's do it like this. Separate box. We can take out the mouse pad. Mouse pad. Separate box. So we gotta find the death gate stuff. All right. <laughs> Elder God, what you see? <laughs> Defender of the crown. What's in here? Cool. At least the manuals with the box. Defender of the crown. Very UK game. Elder God, did you play? No. All right. So obviously the game is not in this. Thank you, new followers. Chisha loves you. Indeed, gang, if I'm not catching the follows and the subs, I'm sorry. I sort of have my eyes on uh, in the box and trying to figure out what these are. And check out the price on this game, eh? It was, this thing came out in, wow. Software and package design, 1986. Copyright, 1986. So this thing came out in 1986, right? Check this out. 1986. Price on it $51.95. Canadian. Expensive. Gaming was pretty expensive back then, gang. Uh, like, it took a pretty penny to buy technology. Oh, check this out. <laughs> nice. Found it. I mentioned that I had uh, a friend of mine. Uh, regarding death gate cycle i've mentioned to them that i love margaret wise and tracy hickman and death gate cycle and stuff like this and that friend of mine knows them personally so he got me signed copies of death gate cycle a couple of the books or one of the books anyway and signed copies uh their signatures so this is signature of margaret wise and tracy hickman in 2001 he brought me this as a gift Super cool, super cool. I'm gonna put this guy here. <laughs> Check this out. Yeah, nothing's in there. Larry Bird, Julius Irving. One on one Macintosh. This is just the thing image again. The cover for it, the box for it. At least you got the whole game back then. No big, yeah. Check this out. This is the graphics we had 
in the 80s. This is, this is the basketball game we played. <laughs> also, right? The crazy, very 80s, very 80s. Check this out. The copyright on this. When did this come out? Oh, I don't know. And it's got a little seal here. Oh, I'm not going to open it up. It's sealed up. So you can open it up, but there's nothing in there. Right. Bird Irving. One-on-one. <laughs> -on -one, that's what it was called, I think. One-on-one. -on -one. Or maybe the game's called Bird Irving. Okay, I got to put these guys down here. Borrowed Time Activision. Very cool. This one came out in 1985. Check this out. Right? Let me show you this. Borrowed Time. From Activision. Activision was huge. Right? Apologies about the glare. There you go. Less glare. And what does this say? Knock, knock. Who's there? You don't know? Better find out because somebody's after you, and if you don't stop them in time, they're going to get away with murder. Yours. Yeah, I think so. I think there were five point uh, uh, five, five and uh, five and a quarter inches, right? And check this out. Danger is the first degree. And here's the graphics for this one. <laughs> Check out the faces and the text. Hilarious. Super cool, super cool. Nice civilization. Here's a kiss card. Kiss. Civilization 2, Civ 2, manual, nice, very cool, very cool, very cool, very cool, glad to know that's there. It's just a receipt, uh, what's it a receipt for, is it gaming, power slide, run, oh, this is for this. Jeez, that is crazy. Okay, we'll put it here. Uh, PlayStation 2. Just a little folder thing. Oh, this is the Ancient Art of War. Nice. Oh, snap. Tell me this is the whole thing. Check this out. One of the games we talked about yesterday in uh, for Mac 2, right, was the Ancient Art of War. And this is one of the things that belongs with that, right? Quick reference card. Awesome. Larry Bird is 63 and Julius uh, Irving is 70. They look so young on that cover. And I feel a bit older than I did 10 minutes ago, Cheryl says. Let me put this guy here. Let's check this out. You can mention years. Uh, mentioned years on the games i'm getting old and forgetting things nice ultima ultima six awesome just imagine getting a cloth map with your game fantastic right fantastic quality quality this deserves to be framed really this deserves to be framed Awesome. Thank you very much, uh, Rendell, <laughs> boop, <laughs> for the tier one sub. Very cool, very cool. Let me fold this properly so we don't put any more creases in it. This way first, and then this way. Nice. Oh, here it is. Here's one. Stealth. What is this? Utility and disk drive. 
cool. And again, gang, thank you for the follows. Thank you for the subs. Apologies if I'm not catching them. And check this out. We used to put tape on this thing. If you put tape on this little crack here, you can write on it. It's like cassette tapes. You could put tape on your cassettes uh, on the top of it, and then you could write on cassette tapes, right? And then this is a Axiom a High Density Media. Spot of T, how you doing? That needs mounting. <laughs> awesome. Let me put these guys back. I got a handful of these somewhere as well. Just random music. <laughs> Pop Montreal. Hey, <laughs> Lonely Piggy. Pop Montreal. <laughs> Warlock for Macintosh. Nice. Ooh, the other Macintosh game. Very cool. These are, man, I gotta put these. I gotta put all this together. Warlock for Macintosh, right? Starting Warlock. Here's another game for, uh, I believe it was on the Mac. Uh, Karateka. Very cool. This was great. Great. This is for Commodore 64 version. Very cool. Instructions for the Apple II, Apple IIe, and Apple IIc in Commodore 64. So we had the Apple II, I can't remember which one it was. <laughs> Duke Nukem II. Check this out. Duke Nukem II. And the disc is in there. Yeah, hell yeah. Woohoo, finally, a box with a disc. Duke Nukem II. Check this out. Glare. It's not focusing. Wiz Technologies. Awesome. Awesome. Nice. Sword of Vermilion Sega. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool, very cool. <laughs> Look at the graphics on the back. Check this out. Color manual. Awesome. That is not the kind of artwork I expect it to be in a Duke Nukem game, though. <laughs> Check this out. There's the artwork for it. Let's see if the pixel is too much glare on this one. Still got a nice shine to it. Man, I gotta put all these out. Uh, Defender of the Crown. So we had Defender of the Crown here somewhere. So I gotta put this with the Defender of the Crown. Right? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, snap. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wanna see? Wanna see? Wanna see? Ultima. Ultima 6. The discs for Ultima 6 sweet program check this out check this out end game let me move my mouse thing over end game right program introduction so you would play the game and then you reach a certain point you need to switch up the discs for it i think right game map you could load up the map. Populous A. Populous B. And the end game again, right? Awesome. Cycle record sheet. I don't know what that is. I don't know if that's game related or not. What's this one? Computer software for Macintosh, Omega, Atari, and uh, 
computers. There's a phone number down here, but I'm pretty sure that phone number is non-existent anymore. So, wow, seven discs for one game. Yeah, playbook for the for the Warhammers. Nice. No, not Warhammers. Warhammers. I think it's a football. Football, yeah, right there. Right. Cool. Wow, we're getting serious overcast here. The lighting would have changed. And again, the same thing. Playmaker. So different plays, different games. Interesting. Playmaker football, so here's the manual for it. Prodigy, interactive personal service. Check that out. Gaming was hard work back in the day indeed. Seriously, and expensive, very expensive. And very slow. Like your things would take forever to load. An Ultima 6 uh, reference guide. Ultima 6 reference guide. And this is just done staples. Cool. I need to leave these guys out. Was this the box for? Yeah, this was the Ultima box. So there is some stuff with Ultima. Where did I put the lid for it? Oh, was there no lid? We already misplaced the lid. We're just gonna put these down here and deal with it sorted out later. FIFA 98. Multi-disc is pretty awful with less linear and open-ended games like say Ultima, yeah. Oh, Uncharted Days, how are we doing it, Chicho? Hope you and Chad are well, doing well. Thank you very much. Getting some interesting stuff. I don't think the game is it heavy enough to have the game? It has a manual. How does it even work? You hit a place and it goes into pause, I believe, and you have to load it on. Yeah, the cartridge is not here. What's this guy? Ah, oh, nice. Super Mario. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Super Mario N64 cartridge. Cool. Well, we got the manual in here for FIFA, which is good. The disc is around somewhere kicking it, right? And you have to be so patient, yeah, while everything loaded, and you don't even think about hitting a key while it's loading. Yeah, yeah, you, you were very patient, very patient, and extremely happy when everything was working properly mario 64 is a classic mario 64 is phenomenal hey get in there Come on. there we go okay so we got that what else we got mario mario just stuff that came in destroyed it oh zelda nice I got the Zelda cartridge here somewhere. Zelda. I hope the stream's not lagging. I hope it's doing okay. Cool. Zelda. Arcania, yeah. Arcania of time. Kitchen helper. <laughs> Emily's kitchen helper. <laughs> Recipe book. Hilarious. Check that out. This is for Windows 3.1 or something. Funny. Yeah, Windows 3.1. Check it out. Win 3.1. This isn't even going to focus. Funny. <laughs> Look at that. 
Look at the pic they got. Hilarious. Hilarious. <laughs> it's ready to go. <laughs> it's ready to go. <laughs> the package can't contains. It's ready to go. Oh, I hope I can find a disc for this. Seriously. That'll be fantastic. Oh, here it is, man. B Wing. What a great game. Not to be chatty. But her outfit, <laughs> Caddy, <laughs> not Chatty Caddy. The outfit is crazy. Like, what the, what the? And when did this come out? <laughs> there's even a date on this. <laughs> there's even a there's even a phone number you can call. <laughs> For questions. <laughs> Too funny. I can't even find the data on this thing. Check this out. B Wing Tour of Duty. Awesome game. Awesome game. <laughs> I bet that was very helpful in the kitchen. <laughs> Use that talk. You couldn't. <laughs> Some point leg helper. Elder God says, does the phone number still work? I don't know. You guys call it. Check it out. <laughs> does it? Here's <laughs> the number. <laughs> call, call for your kitchen help. <laughs> Too funny. Too funny. <laughs> hey, your software is glitchy. Hilarious. I need to know as part of these I'm still here. I'm just taking my adoption class. Awesome Spider-Man. Then focus on that stuff, man. I'll have the video up. I'll have the video up. Manual must be in this. Manual must be in this. Is the discs in this? Oh yeah, baby. Finally. <laughs> Finally, one of a few games with everything in there. B-Wing Disc. Look at this. The glue on it is becoming a little undone. B-Wing Disc. Awesome. Tour of Duty. X-Wing required. So it's an upgrade, right? Expansion and X-Wing Tour of Duty. So basically all it did was load on new planes that you could use. Right or new star spaceships they could use. Awesome. You got your B wing with this. Check out all the options. Look at that. You got all these. Nice. Very happy to have this one. Check this out. Check this out. Lucas Art made some great games. They did. They did this this is insanely classic mac wars super cool old school a fast-paced space battle simulation with 3d action sensational um, digitized sound from the makers of harrier strike mission for macintosh awesome Dude, I remember this. Look at the pixels on this. Look at the pixels on this. Look at that. God, I can't even get it to focus. The little games, they were chal oh, they were challenging, yeah. It's a good this is a really good condition. It's not bad. It's got a little bit of like a like this is a little pushback, little like that let's see what it's got inside nice it's got the manual in there the discs who knows or the disc who knows somewhere again the warranty stuff here's the mac wars oh look at this it's a pop-up it's a 3d look at that Wow. <laughs> look at 
<laughs> this looks like Dan Aykroyd. Tim Hayes. Look at that. You're crazy. Nice. What year was this? 1985. Miles Computing. 1985. A pop up. Crazy. And it's a pretty cool uh, cover, actually. Minimalist. That's a beautiful cover. Really. That's absolutely fantastic uh, design. Mac Wars, the color, the 3D feel of it. Right. Super cool. Let's look at the pop up again. And this was a fun game, game. I remember playing this. This was super cool. Wow. A main dev being featured so promptly on the packaging. It's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. The feature the main the person making it, right? And the price for this at the time on sale. For thirty nine ninety five, right? Thirty nine ninety five on sale. That's the red tag on it. Simple cover equals hard ass game. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this one. Masters collection sub battle. Anything inside? Let me bring this out. Okay, that's the only thing inside. Here's the cover. Sub battle. Right? What would that be? Adjusting for adjusted for inflation? It'd be insane. Forty dollars of certain stocks right now would probably be worth thousands. <laughs> Nine hundred alleged <laughs> goon, maybe, maybe, depending on what you were buying, right? Look at the graphics on it. This was a cool game, actually. Really, it was a pretty cool game. You could fire torpedoes and stuff, I believe. Right. It's got a little rating scale on the bottom here. <clears throat> Double rating, strategy, action, learning. Yeah, so it was two strategies. So it was a double rating strategy thing. Graphics, scrapbook. Interesting, cool. About 120, 20 pounds for a game. Yeah, expensive. Yeah. <laughs> and you have to you have to appreciate that uh, the minimum wage and stuff was a lot lower back then right rogue spear disc nice two discs in here we'll pull out the disc to see if they're actually these discs games gallery What's this disc? And inside it's got two discs, right? Nice. It's warm. Games gallery. So I guess this was a compilation of other games that were on there, like on the cheap cheap. Gaming was hard, yeah. And anybody had a console game. People just used to flock to your houses and stuff, right? I felt that playing 70 pounds to pre-order Demon's Souls. And here's another one. Qua Nox. So this was a basically a double game. You had Game Gallery on one side and then Rogue Spear on the other side. And then Aqua Nox on this side of this one and master uh, rally on this one so these are four games technology was a luxury back then and these are the discs for it i'm assuming they're the right discs but i'm going to pull them out anyway 
Yeah. Aqua. Uh, master master rally cool uh, right now I'm not playing any games Eddie G I just don't have the time for games right now at some point I'm going to get back into it that's another reason I want to go through this I want to set something up console games and stuff uh, and I will Shadowgate Macintosh check this out Awesome, absolutely awesome. Top boy in the playground with the right game and system, yeah. Check out the back. Again for the Macintosh, yeah. <laughs> Look at the demon thing. Arr. How do you like the coloring? <laughs> Grayscale, right? Super cool. And the company was Mindscape, developed by Icom Simulation Inc. Contains two discs, does it? Oh, nice. What is this? That's nothing. So it's got this. So it would have been the big, right? Check this out. You have to cut this to get access to your discs, right? And it's got the manual. So it would have been the five and a quarter discs. Yeah. Yeah, it's basically a binder, really. Oh, wow, yeah. They did games go color. <laughs> when did the games go color? I'm assuming uh, with the N64, the console games, they went color. Shadowgate, awesome. Check this out. Right? super cool so this is pretty good shape the discs are somewhere all right let me put this guy back cool all right nice nice What are these guys? Twisted metal. What's this guy? Uh, this is... Manual for what? Table of contents? Oh, this is for the PlayStation. PlayStation game, weapon. It's weird, it doesn't say for which game, what the name of the game is. What the hell? Oh, because the cover is missing, that's why. The cover is gone. Oh, cool, I got my Panzer Blitz man in there. This is a um, just comic book that I published, Lander. Sort of a promo postcard that we would send out to people, right? <laughs> check this out <clears throat> receipt for n64 and super mario 64 back in 1996 Masonville operated by oh yeah this would have been 1996 so 1996 check that out let's see if it'll focus come on All right 1996 Nintendo 64 280 dollars and the Mario, $90. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, two rock box. Nice. N64 two rock box. And I have the two rock game. So I'm just going to... Actually, I'll leave the box here like this. Here's my manual for Panzer Blitz. Awesome. 
Panzer Blitz is Avalon Hill board game. Fantastic game. Same with Squad Leader. I got the whole set upstairs somewhere. Uh, Panzer Blitz is absolutely fantastic. What a great game. Amazing strategy game. Like phenomenal. Phenomenal. Laws of the game. Soccer. So this goes with the football soccer. I think it's for coaching or whatever. Star Trek. <laughs> Reference manual. Star Trek, the next generation of final unity. Reference manual. Hell of a thing to keep. Which game did you get with the N64? Um, I think that was just for the console. And then the Mario was $60. Right? The Mario was not $60, $90 Canadian. Right? And here's the, let me show you, pick up the inside. Star Trek Next Generation Game Manual. Wow. Eh? Crazy. Cool. Keeper. Check this out. Dungeon Keeper. Very cool. Bulldog. In the Star Trek reference manual, oh, we'll, I'll take a look after we look at this one. Look at that. Look at that BDSM outfit. Whew. Rock and roll. It's good to be bad. Mature. Mature. Bulldog. I don't know if Bulldog's still around. What's in this? The Keeper? System requirements? You need Windows 95 or Windows 98 NT. Windows NT is not suitable. reference card was it a good game bitstorm cool and here's the manual for it very cool design really original really original too not much like it before really cool 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 Brock, I felt bad giving 60 pounds for the new code, COD, uh, that can be code, can be low to play, uh, play it on PS4 and PS5. So you paid 60 pounds just for the code. Wow. You've heard good things about it, Spot of T. Cool. I should have the disc somewhere. Oh, there's another console there. Or not console, uh, game. N64, what's this guy? Oh, this is, check this out. <laughs> White Wolf. Uh, Wolf. Seven years of independent role-playing. Magazine number 39. Means Call of Duty. Oh, COD means Call of Duty. Cool. Awesome. Check it out. Let me put this in a magazine. Uh, I think this is bigger than the magazine thing. You know what? I'm gonna well, I'm gonna leave these out anyway. So I'll sort through them. What's this cartridge? A Zelda. Zelda. Nice. 
Zelda best game. Games are getting expensive again, sadly. Lonely Piggy Chicho wasn't uh, Chicho wasn't wrong there though. Today you can also pay sixty dollars for a game code in, instead of uh, physical copy. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Nice. Good to have this. And this is Lego set. So, oh, spot of tea. You like Legos? Check this out. Which Lego set is this? Uh, Dungeon Master Lego set. <laughs> spot of tea is like no way awesome. Arcane of Time is known as one of the best games ever. Really. Let's take a look back. Hang on, White Wolf, is that the same company that went on to do Vampire, the Mass Grey Paper RPG? I don't know. No memories to hold in 30 years time though. No. Right, let me see what's in here. Oh yeah, look at this. That's got little toy cars in there. <laughs> do you know how much that's worth? I have no idea. <laughs> Do you know Spot of Tea? I have no idea. <laughs> How much is it worth <laughs> Spot of Tea? <laughs> Check it out. It's got some other things in there too, but I don't know if it's complete. What was the set code again? And it's got this stuff back here, set code, I don't know, what was it? Uh, 6076. Six zero seven six Dragon Master Dragon Master Awesome. Oh, and somebody wanted to look at us. Uh, look at the thing that you get. I'm gonna put this guy back in here. The Star Trek game, right? So let me look at the Star Trek game. Let me fold this properly so it gets less destroyed. <coughs> Come on. <laughs> it obviously is not in mint shape. Okay, let's put this guy back. <laughs> How in the world did we fit it in? Oh, we fit in like this, maybe. Where's the Star Trek? There's a Star Trek. So, Star Trek reference. Upwards of 300 pounds? On brick link in a box, but it's not in good shape. It's okay shape, I guess. Um, the Star Trek, um, um, what do you call it? Reference manual. It's got the here's a table of contents for it. Thanks for looking it up, uh, Spot of Tea. It's cool to know. <laughs> here's a reference manual for the Star Trek. Oh, come on, get it straight. All right. Lots of subcategories. Right. Tactical. So pretty cool. I want it. Spot of tea says. <laughs> awesome. Nostalgia should never have a price tag. Nostalgia should never have a price tag. Okay, gang, that's this box. I'm going to put this box over there. And I'm going to leave it open and put some of the things back because that way it takes up less space. And I'll sort these out later. But what I'm going to do is make a little bit of room for it over here okay and then you guys decide what else we're going to take a look at i love me some lego lonely thing he says man 23 now and finally getting back into the thrill of building sets it's amazing the styles are really expensive from what spot of tea is telling us okay let's do that 
How in the world did I fit all this stuff in here? <laughs> like crazy. Okay, let's put this here. Let's move this over. Let's bring these guys over. Okay, gang, which one should we go to? Lonely Piggy. $600 for the Death Star, was it? Ay, craziness. Which one of these should we do? Which box? Almonds. Dark blue. The one on the ground? <clears throat> the Millennium Falcon, which is the biggest set they've ever released, is 650 pounds at the moment. Wow. So dark blue, that one, I guess. The one on the ground. Do I have a second? <laughs> Do I have a second? <laughs> For sure. We got dark blue and light blue white box we got totally different ones the xbox games the xbox games oh the xbox games the xbox games are on the top there these guys here so we've got light blue elder god you okay with oh we got two dark blues now okay we're gonna go with dark blue because we got sandwiched dark blue first dark blue second so let's hit the bottom one okay let's do that um okay these guys you know what these guys are gonna move over school something here there's a there's just some computer stuff here too but uh, just random stuff all right let me put on my glasses the white boxes next to the big track because i know there's cool things in those there there are <laughs> very unique the ones the ones over here the ones over here these guys uh they're it's very specialized very specialized Polly Walnut A. Chicho, yo, Chicho. When's the mineral, um, mineral show and tell? Oh, dude, I gotta do another one of those. I gotta go through my collection. I went through my partner's collection, but I still have to show you guys mine. Uh, I was gonna make ASMR videos, recorded videos with those, but my editing computer is having hiccups, so it has to wait until I do a major upgrade to my hardware, man. Or Polly, uh, right? I'm trying to maintain a gaming timeline. The dark blue looks older. Ah, uh, maybe. Ah, you know what? One of the oldest games in my collection is in here. I see it right there. Okay. Let's take a look. <clears throat> Where was all this collection, Chicho? Do you have them just around your house? Uh, there, I have an area that's just storage. It used to be in storage. And when I moved here five years ago, it came with me right so it was all sitting in storage and done multiple moves it's just family it, moving doing things <clears throat> here's a gigantic keyboard <laughs> and check this out if there's any armenian people out there <clears throat> format check this out this is from the 1980s okay and see the letters there there was no keyboards that at that time that we could there was very few fonts in different languages 
and we had a friend or family member that wrote font uh, in Armenian, right? So he programmed fonts, he made the designs, programmed them, uh, and yeah, it's mechanical. <laughs> and and uh, he made little stickers uh, where you could load it on a computer, and we put the stickers on here, and you could type Armenian by using the letters it's just the green the green that you see here the the green and the red they would have been uh, the armenian ones right in hong kong it was uh comment Model M, is it a Model M? I don't know, we wrote down, uh, I think we covered it up. We got little instructions here of what some of the hotkeys did and stuff. Okay, my one of the oldest games in my collection, check this out, it's a handheld game. Okay, hockey, I'm in Canada, hockey. One player game and a two player game. Okay, I love this thing. And all it was, okay, it's got it's battery powered, right? All it was is dots. So you turn it on, right? And it has two options uh, auto, manual. So there's the off button. You put it in auto, you're playing against the computer, and you put you click it up you playing against one-on-one -on -one, right and you would sit there here if you're playing against one-on-one -on -one, and the other person would be holding here <laughs> you'd, you'd go to and the other person's holding it <laughs> and you go Pew, shoot and it's got a little shoot button i played this a lot okay i have no idea it came out in like 1979 worth about 25 this is worth about 25 man priceless to me priceless to me let's check it out this is coming out 1979 1979 yeah intex industries check this out get a battery <laughs> quick i don't even know if it'll work i do have batteries should i go get batteries gang it was fantastic spotty was so good it looks almost like a model of coffee i think compact made so love the curling circles above the hockey was here's here's the thing here's the manufacturer stuff check it out did the collection all belong to you or have you gotten some uh from a, all this collection spot of tea was family some of it was my older brothers some of it was mine some of it was my younger brothers and some of it i picked up over the years like all the xbox games that you see here someone's knocking on the door all the xbox games you see here i bought all those for 20 dollars a garage sale a few years ago i'm gonna go see the door maybe it's a delivery i don't know i'll be right back gang okay i'll be right back person is holding holding a bouquet of like goods and stuff are you lauren oh, <laughs> the wrong address i wonder if this will work should we try it out what kind of batteries do i need i need trip uh, double a i got double a should we go get it should i try it out wrong house i should have taken the bouquet look like a lauren <laughs> I'm gonna go get three troop, uh, three three double A batteries. I think it's just three we need. 
Let's do it. Do it. It's a classic. Man, fingers crossed it turns on. I doubt it though. And if you want your batteries to last a long time, keep them in the freezer, right? So I keep these in the freezer. <laughs> Chicho, aka Lauren. <laughs> I swear I gotta use that as one of my nicknames now. <laughs> yes, I definitely, uh, definitely as a Lauren. Thank you. <laughs> Hilarious. Can imagine games getting heated playing that hockey game with someone yeah and at the auto version of this uh, there was a trick to it i figured it out and i could win just go durr, durr. like it's just a pattern right let's see if this is gonna work the other guy <laughs> manual I'm on I put it on what it turned on okay hold on let's go auto <laughs> here's where the score shows up zero power oh, <laughs> holy chicho holy is right are you in the middle of the third voice? Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm, in, I'm stuck in the middle of third voice. Awesome show. I can see the N64s. Yeah. Can you imagine games getting here? Yeah. So we gotta do. Oh, come on. Oh. <laughs> oh. Come on. Oh, my left button is not working. Can we go just go down here and shoot the score? Oh, oh, we lost. Oh, too bad my left button's not working. The goalie got it. God dang. <laughs> awesome. Now we know it works, right? Okay, I'm gonna turn it off. Take the batteries out. My left button, if it's if it was if it was working, it'd be awesome. Hockey tournament live stream. <laughs> Love it. That thing is so loud. Yeah, yeah. And I don't think you could turn off the sound on this thing. Super cool, super cool. Chicho. In the middle of three boys, uh, uh, I'm the troublemaker. You don't see see like that, seem like that, <laughs> Polly. Oh, boys is really good. Hockey night in Canada. It's why our generation is so patient. It's why our maybe, I swear maybe, right? Very cool. Very cool. Okay, this is just random stuff, random stuff. Oh, there's a couple of comic book stuff. What's this? No, 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 no. No, no. Oh, we lost something. No, no. Violator. Violator. Spawn. 
Oh, talking about my siblings. Sorry. What were you saying? I'm middle of three boys also. I'm the troublemaker. You don't seem that way. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you're talking about the boys. Thank you for clarifying uh, Spot of Tea. Just randomly, I'm, I'm thinking about different things, right? Uh, <laughs> I don't seem like a troublemaker. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I used to cause a certain amount of trouble. Uh, Genma, the middle, when you're in the middle, you, you need to be political, Polly, right? You need to be able to deal with politics. Nice. The Boys is a good series, though. The Boys is a fantastic series. Elder siblings, uh, I found to be more patient, right? Dark Legion. This empty box. Dune 2000, the game, nice, nice. Spotted T, youngest are spoiled. Are you spoiled? Oldest of five boys, Randall. Damn, you gotta be really patient. I love the massive boxes for CDs of floppy <laughs> Yeah. Let's see what's in here. Okay, this is just cables and stuff, which aren't really that important. <laughs> we used to have uh, radar detectors in cars, so we wouldn't get tickets. Cops always stood there with their radar guns, right? I don't know if they're legal. In my part of the world, they were legal to have for a long time. So there's a couple of radar, one radar detector here, and other stuff, so that's just random. Oh, we've got a risk in here. Yeah. What's this guy? Sony. Sony power adapter. So this would be for... I don't know which one is this for. This must be for... I don't think it's for uh, N64. What's this one for? This power adapter. Uh, plug in power supply for with Sony. Sony audio products. So it's got the audio products. So I don't think this is a gaming thing. All right? PlayStation. Is it PlayStation? Your brothers would probably say so. <laughs> yeah. box is being wasted. Here, I'll show you this too. Why not? Check this out. Big loader. <laughs> what a waste of space here. Look at this. And risk. I just need to crack open risk to see if there's anything in there. Looks complete to me. Oh, what's this? <laughs> I speak internet, God. <laughs> okay, we keep this here. Check it out. Well played, right? Well played cards. And all of them are in there, right? So super cool. Okay, this goes with the gaming stuff. So there wasn't too much, uh, let's put this guy back. There wasn't too much uh, computer games in this, but it was good to go through. Never played, never played Risk. I heard it uh, get very heated, it does. It's a good intro uh, to strategy games. It's pretty simple actually. Uh, better version of uh, 
game like Risk would be Axes and Allies. Axes and Allies is a pumped up version of Risk. And fantastic game. Fantastic game. Okay, let's put this guy away. What are we going with? The blue box? The light blue box? It gets political, Lafala. Why are you attacking me? Chicho so powerful. Attack him, not me. <laughs> that box was worth it for the game. It was worth it for the game. It was very batteries. Yeah, it works. Too bad the left button. Light blue? Light blue it is. Let's do it. Here, let me bring over the Xbox games. I'm going to put these guys down. Let's bring these guys first. It's a little too heavy to pick it up in one shot. So, oh, let me show you these two as well. And then we'll bring these guys. Yeah. We'll do these on top and then we do the blue box. All right? Check out these before we get into the Xbox games. So another blizzard pad. Check this out. Star Wars Clone Wars manual. I miss playing board games. Only have a couple of friends who are down for it. Yeah, Randall. My my gaming group is my cousins. And a couple of them are out of the country. So we haven't been able to get together too often. Nice. N64 manual. Board games are so much fun. So much fun. So N64 manual. Okay. I'll put this one in the box. Check this out. Additional handheld games. Old games. Chicho crushed other kids at show and tell in kindergarten. <laughs> Check this out. Diamond Hunt. Diamond Hunt. And it's a triple screen. Played this a lot. Played this a lot. This was fun. <laughs> turn on. <laughs> I'd be like, oh, turn it on. Doesn't even have a battery in there. Oh, there is. I should take out these batteries. You don't want the batteries. So the type of batteries, there's no way you could see that, and I can't see that either. All right. All right. Let's take out the batteries. So diamond hunt. All right. What else? Oh, this one doesn't have a back cover. I was going to take out the batteries. Donkey Kong 2. Handheld Donkey Kong 2. Check this out. Played this a lot as well. Super fun. Super fun. Right? This was great. I don't have the little backing board for it i found that people are either all in or completely avoid a board games board games it makes it difficult to find people that want to play yeah big time big time uh, macros too awesome elder god you have one of them somewhere yeah Check this out. You open it up. Boop. Look at all those buttons. There's only a hand, a couple of buttons. It's three buttons, I guess. The rest of it's just color. Right. 
cool. So you got three buttons. Oh, we've got more. Let's make sure the batteries are out of this. close I just want to check the batteries oh it's with the screw I need a screw to take out the batteries I don't want to put in a screw that's there oh come on close okay we're gonna leave it open I'm just gonna leave it open Got one more in here. Oh yeah, this one. <laughs> Check out this one. This one was crazy cool. Western bar. Right. Danny Teo, how you doing? And this was super fun too. It was uh the bartender would throw you mugs of beer and you had to catch them. Elder God. <laughs> right. <laughs> Christ. <laughs> and you had to go left, right? And then you had fire as well. There was actually two levels. You fired people and then there was a bonus level. Was You caught beer or something. Is there batteries here? Oh, God. I got to take these out. Look at that. Acid yikes okay we're gonna put this i'm gonna ooh, okay i'm gonna leave this here outside and take care of it i gotta go wash my hands i got some of the acid on me okay have that as a full-size arcade game maybe uh, do it now clean it now no what's the date on those uh, no the date on these would be uh, 1980 uh, 1980s this one's 1982 the the diamond hunt is 1982 okay made in Hong Kong uh, Donkey Kong, 1983, Let's see if we can get it to focus, made in Japan, cool, Macros, We can't get it because it was I couldn't close it, so let's see. Oh now it closed. Oh that's cool. Oh I had to close it that way. I was closing it the wrong way. Never force the stuff. Don't be silly. This one made in Japan. Made in Japan. But I don't see a date. see a date on it no date and what was the other one <clears throat> this one with the the western bar is Ch -ch 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 -ch. 
1984? I thought it would be earlier. 1984. Casio computers made in Japan. So let me put these guys away and show you the Xbox game. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna put these guys over here. No, we'll just put them over here. Now these Xbox games, uh, I was just walking in the neighborhood like five, six years ago, six years ago, seven years ago, something like that. Oh no, how much did I do, Julio? <laughs> You've missed an hour and 45 minutes. So <laughs> oh no, and you weren't here yesterday. So you missed three hours and 45 minutes. We did, uh, this is the second gaming thing we're doing and we still haven't gone through it all. So we have enough to go through on Saturday. So for sure we hit, hit up the rest Saturday. Um, but these games, I walked uh, by a, what do you call it? Yeah, I've been slacking on setting my mind. No worries, Coolio. You've been you've been chilling. It sounds like you've been uh, in doing good things. There's always VOD, yeah, videos on demand. Uh, you missed the speedy delivery, <laughs> Mister Rogers Neighborhood. <laughs> what was my name again, Lauren? Uh, so we were walking by a garage sale. And the person had all these games out. I was looking for N64 and Sega games and stuff. And the person had these Xbox games. And they were trying to get rid of everything. So I said, listen, uh, you know, my Xbox is not set up or anything. And this was before the Xbox I brought here. So I said, uh, you know, will you take $20 for everything? And the guy goes, yep. So I bought all these for 20 bucks. Okay. So let me show you what they are. And remember, on the Xbox, I played very few games. I played Vice City, San Andreas, um, and a couple of other games at friends' places, two or three, four other games. I doubt if I played any of these. And all the games are there, and all the instruction manuals are there. So whoever had these games <laughs> organized them way better than I did. <laughs> oh, yeah, Chicho's name is Lauren now. <laughs> so Night Castle? Okay. A great pickup. Need for speed. Most wanted. Needs for speed. Most wanted. I can't wait to see the movie to see what that's all about. Blood Wake. Most Wanted is super fun. That's awesome. Cool, cool, cool. Good to know. Good to know. Oh, nice. Uh, Splinter Cell. I love Most Wanted. Yeah, you love Most Wanted too. Cool. I got to keep that in mind. Enter the Matrix. Oh, this one's like dirty. I'm going to clean this one up. Look at that. chocolate <laughs> what the hell <laughs> oh there's some 360 games there as well Tony Hawk underground nice nice it's just avoiding cops cool 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 not that game yeah, Xbox 360. Cool. The 360 won't play on the Xbox, will it? Tony Hawk games are great, yeah. Rainbow Six Vegas. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater times two. They're making a remake of Tony Hawk's Underground, I believe. Uh, if it's... Uh, not out there already some xbox games uh play on the 360 but not all but do 360 games play on the xbox likewise some 360 oh, okay bruce lee Sp 
Splinter Cell. Pandora box. Oh, nice. No, the 360 is the second Xbox. I think a lot of the original Xbox games play on the 360 though, okay. No, so 360 likewise. Some 360 games play on the Xbox one? No. So no 360 games play on the Xbox. Counter-Strike. Played this a lot. I definitely had the BL game. Cool. Need for Speed Underground 2 for Xbox. So I guess the other one was 360. Was it? Microsoft naming system is stupid. No kidding. Xbox One and Xbox One are different. Are they different? Oh, I didn't know that. 2002 FIFA World Cup. It goes Xbox, Xbox 360, Xbox One, and then Xbox Series X. What? I didn't know that. I didn't know that. So the console I have, which is just an Xbox. The one I have is just the, just the Xbox. The Xbox controller are clunky. They're, he they're like fat. Need for speed. Uh, Underground 2 is one of my top five. Is it? Thigh, thigh. Very cool. Azuru Azuruk. Azuruk. Az Azuruk. Azuruk. Don't know it. The newer Xbox controllers are great. Cool. Burnt or dirty? Chocolate. What the hell? <laughs> gun, gun metal. <laughs> Someone was eating a lot of chocolate. Xbox, Xbox 360, Xbox One, Xbox One X, Xbox One X, Xbox Series S. Which one was this one? Splinter Cell again for Xbox. Stealth action, a lot of Splinter Cell. This game is great. Munch, Munch's Odyssey. Really, this was a great game. This is a great game. Super fun, super fun. Okay. The Godfather. child should not chocolate in game <laughs> no they shouldn't chocolate in game but for 20 bucks it's a chocolate star wars battlefront star wars battlefront right. oh this one doesn't have the manual but the discs are there so most of these should have the manual quarantine redshift Battlefront one, I believe so, wasn't it? Mm, online enabled. It doesn't say Battlefront one, but it is Battlefront. So, must be one. There's a ton of Splinter games, yeah, but they get worse as they go. <laughs> In my opinion, the first one was great for the for the time though. I assume the reason Xbox didn't go with one, two, three, etc., because their numbering would always be behind Sony's. Ha ha, maybe. Medal of Honor, Frontline. I love, yeah, Computer Blue. I love Mun uh, Munch's, Munch's back in the day. Yeah, such a great game. Such a cool game. Quantum Redshift. Fun game, Coolio? It's my duty to do this. Sorry. Oh, we're almost at two hours. Nice. Thank you, Alder. Yeah. We just got this many more to look at. So making this three days was a pretty good idea, I guess. NBA Inside Drive. Cool. Air Force Delta Storm. <laughs> yes, there's not chocolate again. <laughs> Project. Graham Racing. Ah, the thing. Right on, right on. The chocolate everywhere. Mad Dash Racing. Did you ever play Ultima 4? 
on the Ultima series in the 80s, uh, sampled it. My little brother played it a lot. It was an amazing game, yeah. Project Gotham Racing 2. On the Commodore 64 in the 80s. Not on the Commodore 64. I think it was on other consoles. It was a computer game as well, wasn't it? Oh, well, Commodore 64. But, uh, yeah, he played it. So I did watch him play it, and I played around with it. I can't remember at all. I just typed the name because you said quantum red champ that's it the thing is 10 10 movie but unfortunately a 2 two ten game yeah the thing is a 10 out of 10 movie fantastic movie he showed ultima 6 uh earlier i think yeah we we showed ultima 6 we have the map for ultima 6 and stuff so maybe it was ultima 6 uh i know not ultima 4 uh the chocolate mess is giving flashback cheryl <laughs> from the kids eh yeah, I can't imagine the game would be very good. Ah, nice. Gang, that's it for today. We got one more day of gaming, Saturday, and we'll do it until we finish all of that. Okay? We we have to finish it. Uh, we have to go through it. So what's on the, on the ground and up top, we take a look at on Saturday. Top 5 is no order in GTA Vice City. What's this? What's this? Uh, Diet Talk Quest of Avatar. Uh, New York Top 5 in no order is uh, GTA Vice City, NFS un Underground 2, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, Skyrim, The Sims series. Awesome. And Vice City 100%. Sims, I played around a little bit. Um, Call of Duty, fun game. Fun game. Uh, Modern Warfare 2, I don't know if I played that one or not, but the original Call of Duty I played. Um, uh, Vice City, phenomenal. What a phenomenal game. Ultima 6, which had seven discs for one game. Yeah, I think so. So it was probably Ultima 6 uh, that I played around with, not Ultima 4. Roadrunner was an interesting game, really. Spot of the okay, awesome. We'll definitely be here for Saturday. Yeah gang thanks for being here elder god thank you for keeping me on time um some cool stuff today we got a game from 1970 well, 1982 turned on with batteries which is great and a happy stream tomorrow yeah and a happy stream tomorrow gang so tomorrow uh night 7 30 p.m pdt my time we're doing a happy stream positive things that are going on in the world to counter the current event streams okay on saturday we're going to look at all the gaming here and on sunday we're reading comic books okay and and what time is it right now it's 11 30 probably at two o'clock at one o'clock in an hour and a half we're gonna do a comic book haul okay right here i'm just gonna change my shirt because i just want to keep the same shirt for all three gaming streams so we keep consistent <laughs> right so i'm gonna come back here in about an hour and a half unannounced unscheduled live stream to do a comic book haul fantastic comic book haul okay so if you're around in about an hour and a half uh we'll do a comic book haul uh it's ray lolita in vice city as a huge uh, goodfellas fan i really sh uh, should play oh yeah is it ray lolita <laughs> i always considered vice city to be scarface al pacino the test of a good electronic system is if you can play doom on it oh doom we should bump up that uh, qualification to will it play skyrim fish burn hello chicho and chad what is that beautiful plant on top of the speakers uh that's a uh, mexican basil i believe that you can also eat you always see it behind i gotta we have a few of those there, there's one more over the, over there that you see it behind me in my um, live streams in front of the bookcase okay uh, sick Mick, thank you very much for the tier one sub and gang thank you for the subs and the follows just subbed again got it before the stream and that nice nice slick Mick. thanks for getting that hey i'll be there for that stream nice nice for all four upcoming streams then nice nice awesome love this channel awesome eagles and cycling shame i got here they no worries we got uh, one more stream most, most likely an hour and a half and then three more for the next three days and then i do a, another announcement set 
uh, so many new followers gang thank you for the follows appreciate it and I'm just gonna do my little closing and if uh, you want to know what this is all about who I am um, what I'm up to I am on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho chycho if you want to support this work patreon is a fantastic way to support this project I don't put anything behind paywalls everything's creative commons share and share alike and for those of you supporting this work through patreon thank you very much for the support okay we are live streaming on twitch uh mods thank you for taking care of business gang thank you for the follows thank you for the subs and if you want to participate in the chat twitch is where you want to be at okay i do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on lo minds vk parlor gab and twitter for now okay and uh, we share additional information there as well i do announce live i do announce i do upload the audio for the live streams that we have where there's no visuals involved as podcasts on soundcloud.com forward slash chicho chycho and they should be available on your favorite podcasting platform and we will be uploading this video to youtube and bitshoot and you can support this work by following subscribing turning on notifications you're guaranteed to get your notifications if you subscribe to youtube uh, to bitshoot and turn on notifications you're not guaranteed to get your notifications if you turn it on on youtube there are notifications that aren't being sent out through youtube just be aware of that and if you want to support this work and if you are on youtube you can join youtube membership down here somewhere there's a button and thank you very much for the support gang aside from that most likely see you in about an hour and a half comic book haul we got golden age and silver age and golden age and silver age i don't think there's any modern nature no modern age golden age and silver age cool cool stuff some first appearances two cgc graded or cbd graded slapped okay see you guys soon bye everyone